Roland Mesnier, the famous White House pastry chef, has died at the age of 78. The French-born confectionaire spent 27 years serving five U.S. presidents. He told U.S. TV presenter Jeff Weeks one of his stories about working for the family of the former president, Jimmy Carter. Mrs. Carter had brought with her from Georgia the recipe of a cheese ring uh -huh. that the order was to have it on every buffet, every time. That was their signature Carter dish. And the recipe, you had to use the stinkier cheese you could find, mix them together, <laughs> put some anchovy in it and all sort of different thing. And then you made a, a build it like a ring inside of a mold and then you unmolded it. And in the middle, you put strawberry jam. Now, the funniest thing, Mrs. Carter always checked if the thing was on the table. It was. But nobody ever touched it. <laughs> nobody ever ate it. <laughs> so what we did, we just put it back into the freezer and bring it back out every buffet. I think the same cheese ring lasted four years. <laughs> and if you would go to the White House today, you may still find one somewhere in the freezer. <laughs> Well, earlier I spoke to Jeff Weeks, who did that interview with Roland Mesnier about a decade ago on his show Conservations, Conservations with Jeff Weeks on WSRE PBS. I asked him what he was like. What, what a wonderful human being. He was a great storyteller, obviously, as you just saw in that clip, and a wonderful sense of humor. And I might add, what you see in that clip that was what he was really like in person. He was just a fun guy. You know, one of those folks who's magnetic and fun to be around. And, and you could just imagine how all the presidents and the, and the president's families would absolutely love him. He was just an engaging gentleman. So sorry to hear of his passing. And, and obviously he, wor he worked with so many presidents. He, he has so many anecdotes like that. Um, can you just describe how he got his big break initially? I think uh, Rosalind Carter played quite a big part. Yeah, Mrs. Carter played a huge part in it. Uh, Chef Mesnier was working at a, a very um, uh, exquisite resort, or exclusive resort, I, sh I guess I should say, in uh, Virginia, in Hot Springs, Virginia. I believe it's a homestead resort. And many of the people in the Carter administration would visit that resort from time to time. And so word got around that Mrs. Carter was looking for a pastry chef. So at some point, they invited uh, Chef Mesnier down for a tour of the White House. And um, to hear him tell a story, it was just overwhelming because here's a kid from France, from a small town in France. I believe he said the population was like 140 folks or something. And here he is at the White House in the United States of America. And it just so happens on that particular day that uh, Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher was also uh, giving a press conference or there was something going on in, in, in the uh, White House Gardens. And so he had an opportunity to see her as well. So he was just absolutely overwhelmed and amazed at how far he had come. And um, anyway, to, to make a, a long story short here, he eventually got an opportunity to sit down and speak with Mrs. Carter. And she kind of talked about what it was that she was looking for. And one of the things that he told her he would do is that he would make the uh, desserts and the pastries uh, very healthy because she was obviously was and still is a beautiful woman and uh, very fit. And and, and so he uh, it was kind of playing off of off of that idea. And uh, he also kind of joked during the interview, he goes, and I was uh, pretty cute back in those days, too. And he said he thought that helped as well. And um, so anyway, they just established a wonderful rapport. However, at the end of the interview, Mrs. Carter said, well, this is the guy I want. And apparently one of her aides came in and said, well, Mrs. Carter, we have a problem. He is not a United States citizen. And I'm not sure if that's still the case, but apparently at that particular time, in order to work in the White House, you had to be a U.S. citizen. She said, never mind. Uh, I want him. Hire him. I'll take care of that. And he goes on to tell a story about kind of a couple days or, or, or weeks later how a mysterious black limousine showed up and whisked him around various parts of uh, Washington, D.C., and all of a sudden he was an American citizen. We, we saw a picture of um, Hillary Clinton just then. Bill Clinton, I think, um, had a penchant for fast food. Um, describe some of his other food habits, because I think, uh, I think Mr. Uh, Mesnier told you a few things about that. Oh, yeah, absolutely did. If you see President Clinton around today, he's very trim, very fit. And, but back in the day when he was in the office, he, he clearly enjoyed eating and uh, was probably a little heavier than what he is now. And apparently he had some allergies uh, for different types of uh, ingredients that would go into various pastries and desserts. And so Chef Mesnier would try to keep those away from him. But occasionally, uh, President Clinton would just say, eh, 
yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a bad boy, as uh, Chef Mesnier put it, and would have to have a piece of that chocolate cake that uh, he so uh, enjoyed. And Chef Mesnier went on to say that he could always tell, and these are his words, when President Clinton was being a bad boy, because he could kind of see around his eyes, they would be puffy. And he said, even still to this day, I can tell when President Clinton was being a bad boy, as far as the kind of desserts that he was eating.